How's it going, everybody? It's me! <laughs> it's me, the Wombat. You knew that, though, because you're here. Or you wouldn't be here if you didn't know it was me. But it is me in the flesh. This is not a mask. This is not a wig. <laughs> I do have lots of wigs. I do have a few masks, but not a whole lot of stuff. I am coming to you from Wombat Studios, which is about a four inch, four inch, <laughs> four foot square uh, part of my garage. Got some green material hanging up. I've been working a little bit with some green screen, still trying to work with the lights. I keep getting like a, a green halo effect and kind of green edging and stuff, and a little bit of blur and stuff. Working on that. And in part of working on that, I wanted to upgrade the computer I had, and I don't have a lot of funds. And don't worry, this is not a GoFundMe pitch or anything like that. Um, back in July, I bought a computer that sounded like it was going to meet my needs. And, you know, put some money away. It was my birthday. I got some money for my birthday and stuff. So I bought it. It was relatively inexpensive. It was a PC, uh, i5. Um, the CPU was... Rated to go like about 3.1 gigahertz, which is is decent speed. Um, computer is supposed to have 16 gigs of RAM uh, and a one terabyte hard drive, and it was like I'm like, wow, that's pretty affordable. The only drawback was it was a small form factor, so it's kind of limited into what I could use for like a graphics card. So I got it, tried to fire it up, got the blue screen of death. So contacted the people, and basically I got a bad hard drive. So I'm like, okay, it's supposed to have Windows 10 loaded on already and stuff, so I get it. Hard drive's blank. Nothing on there. And then the computer doesn't like the hard drive, and then it doesn't like this, and doesn't like that. Make a long story short, I ended up taking it somewhere. Had them put Windows 7 on it for me, so I paid for that in addition to the cost of the computer. And... One of the cards was bad. One of the uh, RAM chips was bad, rather. So it was running uh, 12 gigs rather than the 16 that I was I was hoping for. And um, you had to use the power supply that was in there, and you, there was no room for anything in this case. And if you know anything about computers, um, sometimes they do weird things, the manufacturers. Um, this was a design that HP did for, I want to say like two, maybe three years. Then they decided it was a bad design. I didn't know it going into buying this computer, but it was what they call a BTX motherboard, which is basically a motherboard that is the mirrored opposite from everything else. So to make a long story short, I wanted to put it in a new case because I did get new memory for it to get it kicked up a little bit. It's kicked up to 32 gigs thank you very much um but the dvd drive was on a hinge thing if you've seen hp computers you know how everything they try to compact and have hinges on top of other hinges and stuff but the optical drive which is the dvd drive was hitting on the memory so i had to take that out to put the memory in there and i'm like you know what and between everything that i had done and other people and when i got it, the case was kind of like not really that straight so the lid kept wanting to fall off i said you know what? i'm just gonna put it in a new case and that's what we've been working on we cut up the old computer um took it apart because the like i said the chassis was kind of bent so we did some work on that and i took pictures i didn't do any video of it and i'll put together like a storyboard kind of thing for that if you guys are interested in it watch it if not whatever but basically what we had to do is flip everything backwards. So the front panel came off and the front panel is where the back part of the old motherboard is. So I used my old motherboard and all the components and just put it into this, this empty case that I got. And it's a tower case so I can so I have a little bit more flexibility with different things I'm going to do. And which leads me to this next thing, which is an unboxing. I'm just I'm I'm having fun with this, even though it's kind of a, a bit of a setback. I'm having fun. And the case I got has provisions for, like, side panel mounted fans, which I thought was pretty cool. I've usually just seen them where they're in the back sucking and you have vents in the front. Or sometimes they just have, you know, one one or two front fans. And 
but this one has like a side panel. So I'm like, wow, that's pretty cool. And the and what happened when I was measuring everything out, the way the motherboard sits, the fans are going to be like completely downdrafting on the CPU, on the memory, on the graphics card, and then I've got another fan at the, which is now the back is the back of the computer, which is going to be sucking out. So you have intake and exhaust. So it's going to be keep it nice and cool. I was going to go with just the regular black ones, but I got these ones here. Um, Amazon has some really cool things. This is from a company called Up Here. Um, never dealt with this company before. Don't know anything about them. I got these because these were cheap <laughs> and cheerful. Got three fans for seven bucks. I was going to go with the generic black, but let's see what I got instead. I haven't opened it up yet, so I'm, I, I'm hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping these guys put the right thing in the right box. <laughs> So here we go. Look at that. You got the little. I'm not sure. Oh, these are like little shock absorber rubber things. I guess you. That's cool. I guess it deadens the vibration stuff. Never seen anything like that. That is very nifty. And there's three because there's three fans. I paid set. Yeah, eight bucks for three fans. I was gonna get the generic black ones, but I didn't. There's the handy screws. Give you those. There's the connectors. And that is that's what it looks like. That's just one. Low profile. Pretty big. It's 120 millimeters and it is 12 volts. So let me show you what it looks like if I can find a way of doing this with that, without messing it up. Come on, Wombat, don't mess it up, man. Actually, I don't know if I got anything to do. It. Maybe, and we'll, I'll, I'll put these in the case so you can see what they look like. They actually have LEDs in them. I wish I had a way to do this. Hmm. <laughs> oh, there's just two things here. Ooh, this work. Let's see here. I might need a jumper wire. Hang on a second. Hang on. This is dangerous. Don't try this at home, kids. Don't try this at home. And you can hear my washing machine running in the background. Because I got responsibilities. Okay. Let's see if I can do this without cutting my finger off. Or breaking the or breaking my camera or breaking anything <laughs> sorry about that okay so let's see if I can make this happen okay, so I'm thinking that if I use this wire there's two wires going to here fans rated at 12 volts so let's put this here and this, and I'm probably going to need two wires, huh? Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, uh, mm, I don't have enough hands. Anyways, I'll put these in the fan. You'll see it. They're going to be spinning around, and they are going to be bright green like this. I thought I could do just a generic black one. Um or other colors. Most of you have red, blue. I like green. I thought I'd get the ones that keep changing, but I'm just like, nah, I just want it green. So <laughs> it'll it'll look pretty cool. So I will show you this when it's all done up and running, probably here in the next week or so. Got a lot of other things going on. Uh, I'm gonna be doing some more food reviews, some more infomercials, and some more stuff like that. 
So thank you for hanging out with me and watching this unboxing. Sorry I couldn't get this thing working right now. But in time, we'll get it going. Anyways, till next time, much love from the Wombat to you guys. See you guys around. Bye-bye.